Look at this. A rare, gorgeous day here. Where I don't need to scream at the sky to make it look better. Windhelm, such a gnarly looking, like, nasty gray city, right? Oh shit. Oh shit, whoa! Whoa! What? Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>and now they had traveled out far and wide to <laughs> to to Ingol's Barrow or Ingol Barrow Ingol Barrow and it was there that they found balls <laughs> but also were they in search of whatever weird forgotten shit lurked deep within its catacombs how deep would they go balls deep this is <laughs> I'm in a fucking mood, aren't I? You know, no. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim. Welcome back. Good God. I'm so sorry. I'm a fucking fool. <laughs> but what is up with these? But what's going on? All right, let's get on up in here. Sorry, Aeola. You have to put up with this. <laughs> That's why she calls me an oaf all the time. All right. Let's see. Anything on this? It's looking good, looking fun. Nope, some fucking dead people all cobwebbed up and everything. Alright. Over here. <laughs> I'm reminded of uh, when people rode in and all that stuff about there just being regular spiders. <laughs> that shit was so funny to me. Like, obviously I wasn't recording at the moment, but when I was like checking my phone reading the comments, it was so fucking funny. Like, I just completely forgot that they were, they were just basic as spiders probably in the world. <laughs> They're not all gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, if they exist, how come I can't loot them and use them in alchemy like the dragonflies and stuff, huh? <laughs> Do regular spiders exist? I don't know. <laughs> Good God. Look at these. These little dudes are guiding my way. Isn't there, um... Oh, uh, what are these called in a certain mythology? Aren't these, like, Kappa? Or something? Is that what this is? Or maybe, like, you would think it would be Norse mythology, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, Japanese mythology? I want to say? I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm too fucking stupid to be talking about this stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's look down here. There might be some what amazing treasure. Yeah, look at this. An underground bridge. Well, <laughs> did you see Gordon just dive in? Oh, look, there is treasure down here. Some garnet... One gold piece. My god. The treasure gives pleasure. Yo, these little balls are following me around, aren't they? Whoa, what was that? Oh, that's Aeola. Okay. I was like, oh, that's Gordon, but no. Okay, let's travel over here. Good. Should we light all these little candles? I don't know. Well, unfortunately, we just cannot. Very chilly, though. Very chilly. So this is probably, just thinking about what we recall from the book, Ingol and the Seaghost, they were some of the first Atmorans to make landfall, right? Ingol is of that family to make landfall here in Skyrim, in Tamriel, right, from Atmora, which would mean this would be probably one of the earliest structures in all of Skyrim, right? Or at least of, of Nordmake, right? Because elves were already in Skyrims, and we don't know, like, what the fuck they got up to, right? As far as we, like, very possible that uh, parts of, like, Dwemer ruins and stuff predate a lot of ancient Nord shit. Wow, look at this. Jeez. Fog really rolled in, huh? But yeah, Dwemer shit maybe predates it. 
maybe other like caves and stuff very likely shit to do with like um, Sarthal the big Eye of Magnus probably predates it right? Is that a correct read on this? I feel like that's the correct read there we are be free, my friends. Here we go. Ooh, it's physicsable. Okay. Pew! Oh, another one! Oh, what will happen when we collect them all? There we go. Get some lovely moss just as well. Yeah, see, you can tell how fucking old this shit is. Like, yo, they got plants growing in this. Whew. Now that's old. <laughs> shit. I got a uh, aloe vera plant growing in the kitchen. All my <laughs> whenever someone comes over, damn, this place is like overgrown. Whoa, <laughs> jeez, this is like post-apocalyptic up in here. <laughs> That's so stupid. I'm sorry, I'm really fucked up today, aren't I? <laughs> All right, let's see over here. Should we go through that or look over in this direction? What have we got? Oh my gosh, it's been snowed up. Oh, oh, but look, some candles over here. Somehow they are lit. Yeah, they're glowing. Wow, magic. Okay, let's continue over this way. Oh, did, can I loot this or is it not entirely lootable? No, okay. Is there anyone else here that we can loot? No, just this one person with their like sexy legs showing. Incredible. Okay, down we go. So far, no bad dudes, just these friendly little friends, right? Can we open this? Ah, yes we can. I'm a little hungry just as well. There we are. In we go. And what amazing treasure lurks within but shoes! Daedric male boots. No thank you. Regular burial urn. If they were Daedric plate. Hmm. Let's see, any of this? Should I take another torch? No, we've already got two. I'll leave them. That's one unit just of torch. Look, are there more here that I can grab? There we are. Like, this looks like... Oh, yeah, it is. There's a sweet spot in there. Come on, big money. You'd think there would be even another one. Maybe if I jump up here? Nah. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at these. These little friends are following me all around. Wow. This is so cool seeing them like this, huh? What's really weird is that um, this is such a unique thing to this dungeon, right? Nothing else like them exists. Oh, by the way, I, I almost forgot. Last time Iola was invisible and now she is not. Thank goodness. All right. Over here. Oh, shit. Iron Greatsword. Oh, man. Someone was trying to kill all these snowberries. Really difficult to hit them all. <laughs> Look at that. That is a lot of snowberries, though. Alright. Oh, shit. My little friend here is, like, trying to take them from me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Anything else around here? Nah, nothing. Okay. Sure. Over through here. Ah, walrus-faced man. Oh, look! Some sort of booby trap. All right, we'll just deftly avoid that. <laughs> Not today. Over here, anything? No. Jeez, hopefully we got all these dudes. Feels like I'm playing Pikmin or something, right? Let's see, anything over here? A desiccated corpse. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a lockpick. Over here, anything else? Treasure chest overturned. Wow, a filled black soul gem. Flawless emerald, minor stamina. I'll take it. Leave that elven stuff in there. Let's see. What is this up top? Oh, it's just a fun little decoration. All right, fine. Over through here. Ah, our coral claw. Yeah, I we haven't needed to blood. use it. Oh, look. They're all really trying to get in there, huh? Ooh, there's some pouring out of it. Oh, goodness. Huh, how many are there now? How many people were in Ingol's family? Like, are, are these like representations of them? I don't know. Do they follow my cursor? No, 
Okay. They just seem to pass towards something. All right. Let's check the claw. Let's see. Over here. Coral dragon claw. Whoops. Been so long since we had to do this. Forgot even how to do it. All right. Looks like snake, dog, dragonfly bug. Snake, dog, bug. Okay. Is it a coral dragon claw? Or is it just a little rusty? We'll never know. Alright. Snake. Dog. Bug. There we go. Neat. In you go. Just a gigantic one of these little bouncing balls is on the other side. Rolls me over. <laughs> oh, that looks ominous. It's very foggy in here. Oh, dear. Oh. Is it Ingle on the other side? Oh, it is. Oh, shit. Okay. Did they, like, power up Ingle? Oh, shit, I need food. I did a munch. There we go. Eat a butt, dude. Yeah, good. Cool. What have you got? An ebony sword and bone meat. Neat. Weird. So all that remains is ghost. Oh, weird. I wonder what determines whether you come back as a ghost from out of your body or you come back as a skeleton, right? <laughs> I bet he's upset. He will look so cool as a skeleton with that hat on. All right. Let's take your hat. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Does it do anything of interest? Oh, it does. Frost resistance increased by 30%. Also, is it in pristine condition? An ancient Nord helmet in, like, very good condition? Maybe. Okay. Let's heal up a bit. Good. What have we got in the treasure trove? Children of the sky. Elven boots of brawn. I'll take that. Song of Horamir. I don't think we've read that in, in this game. I'm pretty sure, didn't we, we read this in... Oh yeah, look. How wild. Notice here it says... Yeah, it's sort of on the left page, around the halfway point. Ice Staff. We got Horamir's Ice Staff at the end of the... Arcane University Mages Guild arc in Oblivion. Remember that? And this was there alongside it, I believe. Which is where we originally read all of that. Do you... Do we... Did we ever meet Hrormir in this? Maybe we will. I don't know. Right? Weird that the Ice Staff was in Oblivion, but not here. In this game. Maybe they're not a Nord. Despite the name sounding very Nordic. Anything here? Just some linen wraps. Okay. Very well. Alright, nothing else. Okay, sure. Fine. Good. Oh, empty coffin. Very sloppy that you would just have coffins inside some of these little cubby holes. Alright. Anything over here? Diamond. And an iron greatsword again. Okay. What's up top here? Anything of interest? There's a beam of light shining down upon us. Can I continue upward? No. Snow zone. Okay. I guess we're going to loop out of here? Yeah. To Skyrim. Wow. Okay. Huh. Where are we? Oh, we're up the coast some. Hmm. Okay, sure. How odd. Is there any other dungeon around here? There's a... ruined tower over there. Weird, okay. Yeah, we're within, like, viewing distance of... that ship that we went to a while back. Wow. Huh. I can't believe we didn't see this. 
trying to get a corker soul. No, oh, I got bone break fever. Good. Sorry, worker. You are already in combat. Let's take all this. Heal on up. Good. We should suck down a cure disease potion, right? Let's see. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Now, we've got this numbers job for Riften and then burglary in... Or numbers in solitude and burglary in Riften, I should say. Very good. All right. What else should we do? Hmm. We've got a whole bunch of stuff to return. Bandit leader located at Treva's Watch. Oh, shit. It's way out here, and we've already been there. See, that's no good. It's not very interesting doing that. Let's see. Steal the Dragon's Breath Mead for Olda. Where is this? Oh, shit. It's way out here. <laughs> okay. That said, we will be in that area to turn in our quest, won't we? Okay. Let's see. What else do we have here? Hmm. Speak to Greta about going to the Temple of Divines. Deliver the Nightshade Extract to Woundforth the Unliving. Oh, shit. We need to do that. Because that dude is in... What do you call it, land? Here in Windhelm, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Sure. Wow. Amazing with the exit being just right there, just being a regular basic-ass door. Oh, we should take care of this dickhead. But it's kind of amazing that with the door set up like that, that, like, hardly any Draugr really ever get out of their tomb, right? Like, it's very rare to just see them around, you know? Around the, the exterior areas, especially for how many there are. You know? I think the only places that we've ever seen them on the exterior of, like, a crypt or whatever you would call that, a barrow, would be the, like, really gigantic ones that have, like, you know, the big double doors, sort of like Bleak Falls Barrow and all that, right? I think those are the only ones that we've ever seen them, like, around the exterior of the dungeon, you know? Which is kind of wild, you know? <laughs> after, after Morrowind, certainly, where <laughs> there's just, like, Undead coming out of people's family crypts and shit. <laughs> they just come on out of there, right? They just come on out of there. You, you gotta keep them in check or something. Put a stronger lock on that door. <laughs> what the heck? Safety threat. Okay. Let's get rid of our marker here so it doesn't, like, mix me up. Remove that. What is this? Oh, this is for Boethia. I thought Boethia was down here. Am I, like, tripping balls? I must be, yeah. I, for whatever reason, I always thought that Boethia chilled out down around here. But this is it right here. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll have to do that at a later date. Okay. Up and around town. Oh, there is a bear. Go. Get you. Great. Good. Alright. Let's see. What have we got? Bear claws. Cool. That said, you know what? In practice, the undead Draugr typically are not that big of a threat. Right? Typically, really not that scary. If anything, the, the natural wildlife, right? The bears. They're way worse. They're more, way more of a danger than all but, like, the most fearsome of Draugr. At least so far. I'm pretty sure, aren't there, like, new kinds when we get into Dragonborn DLC? I can't remember. Maybe it scales up everything, right? So we've already been encountering them. I'm not sure. All right. We do have plenty of quests to do at the Windhelm docks. There's a bunch of fun stuff to deal with there. <clears throat> Excuse me as well. But, nonetheless, we do have a bunch of shit to turn in, too, right? Old Woundforth the Unliving needs some night shade extract. I don't even know where we got it. Hey. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell today. Okay. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell today. All right, all right. Sorry. I don't know. Here. Let's see. Let's make sure we have our whirlwind sprint at the ready. Good. Look at this. A rare, gorgeous day here. 
where I don't need to scream at the sky to make it look better. Windhelm, such a gnarly looking, like, nasty gray city, right? Oh shit. Oh shit, whoa! Whoa! What? Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? Why are you here? Did you did you think this was some other Come place? You just on. thought you could storm Windhelm all on your own? <laughs> what the fuck? He just walked right up the front gate. Wait, is that guy a courier? Hang on, who is this man? Is he like an imperial courier or something? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Let's catch up to him. Let's see. Who is this dude? You are a courier! <gasps> what? Hey! Oh shit. You're gonna get like killed by a fucked up dude. Or by me. Oh shit, what was that? Oh shit, it's a fucked up dude. Okay, here. Before this dude escapes, let's try to cast some pacify or whatever. What's our most powerful one? It is pacify. Okay. Alright, step right there. Oh, shit, he's too powerful. Okay. Well, will I ever get to know what he has? Oh shit, he's being like shot by... I think by Aeola. <laughs> here, can I knock him down? Yeah, I Fuck. Here. I can't even run anymore. Ah! Oh, the farmer's killing him too! <laughs> Jeez! Oh, there you go. Oh shit, I just took his shit. I don't know what it was. I'm just gonna take everything, fuck it. <laughs> you know, he didn't have a cool note on him. What What do you want from me? <laughs> Did they report my crime or are they cool with it because of, like, the politics going on here? Look at him run. Backpedal and everything. Wow. That's amazing. Just a local farmer. <laughs> He's probably going to go join up with the Stormcloaks, right? He's going to let them know. He's going to be like, Yeah, I scared off that uh, that Imperial Courier. Told him to get out of here. How about you sign me up, friend? <laughs> sign me up for the Stormcloaks. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, let's get our super speed. There we go. Man, that's so wild. Why did he show up there? I've never seen that. And certainly it can't be linked to, to like, Windhelm changing hands, right? Because the only situation under which Windhelm changes hands is at the conclusion of the Civil War, right? That's the only way it ever changes hands from Stormcloak to Imperial. How weird. Hmm. Alright. Let's continue on up this way. I thought for a second he would have something from me, right? But there is no letter or whatsoever on him, right? Do the Imperial or Stormcloak couriers ever have anything for us? I don't think so. It's just generic courier that has something for the last Dragonborn, right? Yeah. All right. How strange <laughs> that they just decide to run up here. I thought they were going for me too. <laughs> I was like, well, uh, I've done something. <laughs> All right, let's see over and around here. We need to look for Woundforth, right? Still tracking him, I think. Let's see. Bring up our local map and you should be at the Palace of Kings. Okay, sure. I don't even remember where we got this nightshade extract. Was it from Morthal? Sounds about right. I mean, they have nightshade everywhere in Morthal. If anything, they should probably be like farming that stuff up and exporting it to like I don't know, the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Just have them come by, buy a big bushel full of nightshade extract. <laughs> Good God. Aldrith won't give Here's us your killing my juice. Life serving Talos. He's a true don't lord. plan to stop He'll now, no matter what the Empire don't says. Be so okay. Head on up here. Very good. And... Is it Wait. ideal? I know you. Or more fun for us to do... All of Windhelm's quest, quests, uh, inside quests before the Civil War, 
before we conclude that? Because I feel like that's the case. Because doesn't, um, like, a lot of the quests, maybe not all of them, but definitely ones, like, involving the docks and the Grey Quarter, it, it makes more sense if we do it before concluding the Civil War, right? Unless, I guess, if you're going Stormcloak, right? Whatever okay. you've heard I can do is probably true. Yeah. If Ulfric needs a favor, he has it. Anyone else better pay well for the service. Well, dude, I have a delivery from Hilevi. I don't know who that is, but you got something. Ah, yes. The extract. Good. Poisonous, of course, but uh, it has its uses. I suppose you want something for your trouble? Here. <laughs> He's so shady, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, this would, like, if we hadn't done the murder quest yet, this would have been even more evidence in favor of him being the fucking guy. But he's just a shifty old man. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What do you have for sale? Spells and incantations. For those with the talent to cast them. I'm just gonna buy all this. There we go. How about over here? Oh, it's the extract. Do I want that back? Eh. Over here, how about some soul gem stuff? Do I have carry weight? Yeah, I do. Let's buy up all that. Good. Okay, and then let's sell off some weird trash potions. Let's get rid of... Do this. Lasting potency, don't need that. Fortify illusion, don't need that. Prolonged invis. Mm, might need that. Hmm. Let's see, what else do I have here that's weird as shit? I guess... I technically don't need these stamina potions, right? They're very low value. Because really, if we want stamina, what we should do is just eat soup, right? There we go. Good. Man, we actually need to craft up more potions to start selling, right? Do you think I should sell off these, like, Fortify Archery ones that also have one-handed on them? I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Hmm. I guess we could get rid of this. Right? I mean, ultimately, fortifying our archery, it's going to make it, like, archery more satisfying in combat for me. But we're still going to level at the same rate, right? Because it's not like Oblivion where it scales off of... Well, no, in Oblivion it didn't scale off of damage either, did it? Oh, shit, I can't remember. Alright. Let's get rid of this, I guess. Fuck it, we're gonna get rid of this. There we go. Let's make a mistake. Strength and steel are well and good, but magic is the true power in this world. Yeah. So too is full plate. You need some full plate to go along with your steel. <laughs> that's a little that's a little reference there for anyone watching the uh Balder skate. You like that? That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, that's just for you. Yeah, no, don't you don't got things. Just enjoy they all it. Know that. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just have fun with that one. Don't worry about it. free of charge. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> All right, where, where the fuck am I going now? Let's see here. I need to go over to ah, steal this fucking meat, right? Okay. Well, let's go turn in the loot, right? Goodness, we came all this way for uh, fucking loot. We may as well hand it over. I think that'll conclude all of the Bard's College quests, right? Because there's the main one involving the effigy. And then there are... It's rule of threes when it comes to retrieving the instruments, I believe. Right? I guess we could do a once over, but I'm almost positive. Like, the only other things we would get would be, like, radiant quests. Alright. Over here. And we'll take the carriage. There we are. Good. Oh, there. Need a ride? Send me to Solitude. Where do you want to go? Solitude, please. Climb and back and we'll be off. Very good. Nice right. weather for a ride. Up I'm thinking maybe we don't wrap up every single side quest, right? I feel like maybe we've cleared out a good amount. And maybe we'll begin Dragonborn DLC sooner than I was originally anticipating. Because I'm kind of eager to get in there, you know? Kind of eager for it. All right. If anything, just to get some new equipment and all that, right? 
Okay. Over here. Should we investigate these friends? Nah, because we're low on crafting shit, aren't we? Yeah. No deal. Let's see. Let's head over here and... Let us munch on... What's high weight here? Venison chop. We still got a few of these. Peckish. We'll take it, because we do need to sleep. All right. Hey, maybe if we turn this one in, we'll finally be able to sleep at the Bard's College? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> They're probably still going to be mad about it. On the bright side, at least it ain't like Morrowind, where <laughs> we try and sleep in the bed there, and they kick us out of the Bard's College entirely. Just so much as, like, brush up against the bed. Give you the boot. Alright. Over here. And right over there. I always think I that this gold. is... I brought it to yeah, you, Proud Spider Miner. We definitely need to tend to that guy. At some point. Alright, let's head on in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And then, over this way... Oh. Only hey. reason I'm so good with a loot is because I'm old. It takes a lifetime to master. Sure. Let's hear it. I found Finn's loot. I don't even really know who this Finn person is. What? You did? Oh, sweet divines, you did. There is no way I can pay you what this loot Whoa, is alchemy, worth. Whoa, alchemy, huh? But I can teach you a few tricks I've learned over the years. Glad wow. that distraction's over. Shit, that's a pretty good one, though. Must it be written? Poetry is so dull. Well, look at you. At least if for us, right? everyone acted like you did. Oh, thanks. Yes? If anything, you know, get up light armor and archery. Which is why I'm thinking, like, you know, we kind of already settled on it way back when, but I'm almost positive that's what we're going to put our, uh, Augma into, right? Or should we hold on to it? I don't remember. Do we get... Is there fun reactivity for still having the Augma on us uh -huh. when we do Dragonborn? I don't know. I mean, we may as well hold on to it. Why not? What's up? Anything Need new? Something. Nah. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we've got everything accomplished that we need to. Oh, wait. Is that someone roaming around? Yeah. Lady hey. Atia says my voice is second only to hers, but All she's right. selling me short. Mm -hmm. Who's Lady Atia, though? Few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. Oh, my goodness. I... Oh. Let's I hear. hope I am worthy. <laughs> All right. Anything. Oh, wait. Is this the loot? No, these are just regular loots. Okay. Where's everybody else? Upstairs, I guess? What time of day is it? Yeah, they're probably upstairs. Oh, no, wait. There's a man here. It's I Yorn. I wish only to graduate and enroll right, with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. I wonder if he has new dialogue post-Civil War arc, right? Especially if the Legion Any loses. Time, hmm. Nobody in there. Over here? Maybe they're about out and around town, right? Class is finished for the day? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, not even old freaking Viarmo is around, right? Unless he's down here in the basement lurking around. Yeah. Huh. Is there anything here I want to take at their, like, bedside? Pretty sure we already did it once through here, though. Yeah. We still need that book, you know? Don't we need the mirror and the scabbard of a crash or whatever for a couple of NPCs and stuff? I think so. Let's see. Oh, hey! My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing, history, and the finer points of court life. Wow! I'm, I don't... I guess I never talked to you. Why is your surname so familiar? Jemaine. Where is that from? Jemaine? Is that from another Elder Scrolls game? I feel like we know one of your relatives. Jemaine. I bet you were... Yeah, there was... I think there was an Oblivion character with the surname of Jemaine. Right? I bet there's some, like... Li like... Who? The Jemaine brothers. Right? Is that... Is it spelled the same way? Remember the two, like, uh, brothers and their father? And they had the farm and there were the fucking goblins and everything? Isn't that it? 
Holy shit, I feel like I recalled it. Oh my god. Is that it? Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, I'd like training in the art of speech. I mean, I don't really know. There's nothing see. more I can teach you. Okay, fair enough. I suppose I should about you? my papers. Meals are served to right, bards fine. at designated times. Anyone else around here? Find an inn oh. if you want to make requests. Uncommon taste. Okay. That's a peculiar implication about him. <laughs> All right. Over here. You found Anything the else? Bard's College Kitchen. Congratulations. I can't believe they gave him a line like that. <laughs> That's so wild. <laughs> All right. Just an extra line for running into him, rather than, like, generic stuff. Unless right. we have specific business, I'm not interested. Who are you? When I was a young rascal, I broke a man's arm with a single punch. Of course, I had oh, a right. horseshoe yeah, in that. my glove. Just a weird asshole. Okay, sure. Let's take a rest, and then we'll head on out over to... What was it around here that we were looking for? Oh, we're also in need of... Right, the numbers job. At the stables. Oh, okay. But what were we looking for here? Oh, the Dragon's Breath Mead. Right? Yeah, that's kind of near-ish by way of Dragon's Bridge. Okay. And we can pick up a horse whenever we do our crime at the stables, right? Let's take a nap over here, though. Oh, no. There we are. I'm still feeling sick from the festival. Oh! Get your fresh fruit and produce wow. here. Extra dialogue Barbara. thanks to the festival. Neat. Okay. Linking skeever. There we are. Good. Come on all in. Right. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Hey man, I'm looking for all Welcome the skeevers to, the to wink ske at me. Sure thing. It's I'll yours take for a one day. room filled with skeevers. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I know where it's at. I can tell by the smell. <laughs> it's skeever shit. All right, there we go. Let's go for. Mm, I'm thinking 16 hours? Maybe? We'll see about that. There we are. And then we'll just, yeah, we'll head over to the stables, grab that shit over there, and then we'll run out of town, right? And also pick up a horse along the way. Yeah, next time we're at, um, what do you call it? We need to remember to... Let me know if there's mm, anything else you Pick need. up another prior Mabel, right? Let's see. Let's get that. Venison chop in us. Beautiful. Lovely. And down here. Whoop. Oh, oh, shit. There we go. Good. Cool. I've only been a part of the Red Waves crew for a few weeks, but I've already learned to stay out of Captain Safia's way. Mm. I want Aren't they the Balmora ship. Blue folks? The Red Wave? Being I old's think. not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working Whoa, days are, are done. Eris. Just yesterday, I saw a musician in the street playing a flute. It was beautiful. I want that flute. Oh, do you want me to... Eris, I can hook you up. I am I can make stuff like that happen. Dorian is helping me perfect my fencing, but I don't think I'll ever be as good as he is. Who are you? Do you work at the stables or something? Hmm? You're dressed like some kind of horrific necromancer. Okay. Or a, or a regular monk. <laughs> I think the necromancer's Wait, robes, don't they have like a creepy, I know you. like, skeletal dude on them? Who's this? Oh, it's Dorian. I hear Adonato Liotelli staying up in Windhelm. I've read a few of his works. Be good to meet him someday. Hmm. Don't misunderstand me, friend. I like my quiet, and I like to read. But you trifle with my ship, my crew, or my captain, I will kill you. Oh, you're with the Red Wave. Okay. I assume. One of the ships, at least. Okay. Down here? Oh, what is that? Oh, weird. Must have just been the light catching on something on the ground. Okay. Let's speed on along here. Yep. I need oh, to shit. To stop. That Oh, I thought you were in the ground. It's making people <laughs> okay. nervous. All right, sorry, it won't happen Good. again. Glad we straightened that out. Yep, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> what if you just do it again right in front of them? What happens? Do they like take you in? Yeah, let's see. Boom! The Thuum. He summons the Thuum. Yeah, you like that? Oh, he doesn't mind anymore. <laughs> All right, just as long as we've uh, appeased him. Okay, over here. Good. And then we need to speak to whoever around here. Right? Who do we need to speak with? 
Shazbot. Right, the Solitude Stable Ledger. Okay. And where is that at? Over in here. That's locked. Okay. Sneak on inside. Oh, shit. Hey, there we go. Good stuff. Alright. Hopefully everyone is outside working. Oh, shit, there is someone there sleeping. Okay. Let's just carefully sneak along. Actually, yeah, they're sleeping. We should be fine. We even have the stealth perk to make us quieter. There we are. Forge those. Good. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. Let's try like that. Nope. This? Nope. Nothing. About all the way to the left. Nope. Oh, there's something. Oh, shit. Almost. Okay. Ooh! Beautiful. All right. 266 and a corundum ingot. I guess I'll take it. Oh, shit. Whoa, there's someone sleeping right there. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, look. You've got a bunch of steel and shit. Oh, man. I'm gonna take all this. Oh, shit. I took something useless. I think some, like, calipers or whatever. Let's see here. Sort by weight. Hmm. Tongs. There we are. Yeah. Really popular in Cyrodiil, I've heard. There we go. Large sack filled with tomates. Munch on them. Lovely. Okay. Oh. We're detected. By someone. Oh, shit. This dude is waking up. Alright, let's hurry out of here. Can't a woman get a moment to herself? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Good. Yo, people be sleeping here, sleeping in at the stables, right? You'd think they would be, like, early to rise and all that. Alright. Nonetheless, means we get an easy horse. Okay. Now we have to carry along down the riverbank through Dragon's Bridge to get Dragon's Breath Mead for Olda. Who I'm assuming is in Dragon's Bridge, right? Okay. Over here. Can I jump over this fence, like, really cool? Not really, but... <laughs> It'll do. <laughs> Alright. Should we continue going, like, off-road? Or what? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's go on up here. Well, fuck it. Let's go... Yeah, let's go off-road. F it. We can even hit up this, like... Oh, look. We, have we never been to this little logging camp? Wow. Really? We've never been here. To buy, like, logs or lumber or anything. Or is that not what this is? Oh, it's not. Oh, shit. Okay. Huh. So the little building or whatever is across the way, then. Shit. We'll lose out on our horse for sure. Fucking, I'm too tempted by the call of adventure. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to these people here. I'm pretty sure we bought... Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Okay. I'm assuming someone's up there working this thing. <gasps> it's a lumber mill run by ghost! Oh! <laughs> okay, over here. What we got in this? Anyone inside? Is it just this dude who works here? No. Because you should be able to buy... Yeah. What lumber. do you want? I'm just here to say hello. Any day is a good one. As long as I don't have to go into town. But some days, he runs too drunk. Ah. Oh. How much? Let's see, I'll buy... For that price, sure. How much? There we go. Good. For that price, sure. We'll just buy How three. Much? Three stacks. For that price, sure. How much? Because I'm fairly certain we have... All right, then. Winstat, like, on lockdown. Actually, maybe we don't. Let's buy a hundred, just in case. For that price, sure. How much? Okay. For that no. price, sure. How yeah, much? I think that was a hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else of interest around here? They have a lot of food. Okay. Oh. Display case with a basic iron dagger. Darkest darkness. Treasure chest here filled with a little bit of money. Okay. Cool. Alright. Three copies of the firmament. Jeez. Alright. Let's see anything else. Uh, two separate beds. What do you want? I was hoping they were lovers. Let's head on out. Alright. 
course is gone. Yeah, fuck it. All right, I want to check out this fun little building over here, whatever it may be. Let's see, we'll take care of you. I'm pretty sure that's not like the Dark Brotherhood unit, right? That's further out into the swamp area, I think. All right, over here, got this, good. I guess I don't fucking know at all, do I? Nah. Okay, good. Bunch of fishes down in here. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, what is over this way? Let's do a quick save just in case. Huh. Okay. Overturned tree? Sure. There's also a, what do you call it? A fortress tower of some sort. Oh. Miko's shack discovered. Oh, look. They're sleeping. Or dead. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> All right. Sure. What have you got? A pick, a little bit of money, a journal. Well, after all my years living in these woods, it looks like the rock joint will finally be the end of me. I guess that's fine. All my friends are dead. The only one left is poor Miko. He was always a loyal companion, and I know he'll be able to take care of himself. I hope someday I'll see him again. Who is Miko? Is Miko like a animal? Jeez. Poor dude. Couldn't afford a cure disease or visit to a shrine. Fucked up. Who is Miko? Yeah, nightshade growing around the back. Yeah, yeah, there's always these nice little shacks just kind of out in the woods, right? Reminds me of the one with the, like, scary hag or the alchemist shack. Wasn't there another one that we found? Yeah, for, like, the, the crabber, right? Dance and Fire, Volume 6, Wohen Jarth. Already read that. Okay, over here. More food. I guess we'll take the garlic. It's useful to us. Huh. Watcher stands. Weird. A wooden bowl right there. Yeah, that implies like a... I don't know. A cat, dog, or something. Skeever, maybe? Huh. Yeah, who is Miko? Are they around here, like, dead as well? Jeez, that'd be sad. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. How odd. Okay. It's hard to tell where we should even go to try and find this person. Or animal, I guess. Yeah, I have no clue. Jeez, how sad. What a grim day. Here, let's cheer things up with a little screaming at the sky. Let's see. Clear skies. There we go. That said, you know what? We don't know the fate of this Miko person. Or being, I guess. So, hey. Maybe they're still kicking. Oh, shit. Anything there? Anything else? Oh, is Miko maybe one of the kids? No. Right? I don't think so. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a dog that you just find somewhere. And like, in the ownership of someone nice. Or maybe someone fucking terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Let's continue on over here. Should be Dragon Bridge right up here, right? Oh, shit. That was our clear skies. Let's get this again. Whirlwind Sprint. Good. Look at this. It is gorgeous. Have we ever looked underneath this bridge? Is that Aeola running by? What the fuck? Was it just me or when I like looked at her out of my periphery? Was she like spectral? Look, there's something going on over there. 
That was eerie. <laughs> I don't know who that was behind us. <laughs> Spooky. Okay. I'm assuming it was Aeola, but I could have sworn they looked like translucent or something. Not entirely opaque. Okay. Over here. Got a whole bunch of beautiful butterflies going around. Great. Should we see what's going on over here? Is it the Thalmor? It is! Okay. Let's see, do y'all have anything fun this to say? This doesn't concern you, citizen. Okay. Let's see if we can level up our pickpocket. Ooh, a diamond. Ooh! Over oh, here! Okay, got detected. Go now. Let's run him down. Let's get the wizard lord first. Good. Great. Cool. Alright, and what have you got on you? I'll take that. And let's get them. Oh, they're fighting one another. Oh shit, Aeola did go invisible. Is Aeola a vampire or what? Foolish human. What's going on? How has Aeola got this power to just go invisible like this? Aeola, let me see your good eye. Are you a fucking vampire? Look at this, she's facing in and out of reality! What the fuck is going on with her? Does she have, like, invisibility or something? As one of her spells? Let's see, if she if she attacks, does she go visible again? Wow, yeah! Can Aeola cast invis? Is that what's happening here? I bet she can. And the her AI just keeps having her try to recast it and recast it, despite the fact that she's already, like discovered and in combat, right? Well, no, she just la launched an attack. Yeah, she just attacked with... What the fuck is going on with her? No. Is Aeola alive? Has she been like a ghost this whole time? Is this like some weird Namira shit going on? Aeola... I can only assume this is because you've been eating people. <laughs> that this happened to you. Are you around here? I, w I don't even know if I friendly fire killed you and all that. There's no way for me to know. <laughs> Alright. Yo, so it was her, the spectral being that I spied out of the corner of my eye. It was her. What the fuck, Aeola? What? What? <laughs> Has she always been doing this or just recently? Oh, that's so weird. What could the cause be? How strange. Let's see. I mean, theoretically, we should be able to find her by, like, funneling her through a choke point or whatever. Unless she is dead. Oh, shit, is this her? Oh, no, she's dead as hell! Oh, fuck! We did kill her, and I didn't even see it! Oh, shit! Because <laughs> she was invisible! Oh, fuck me. I bet we killed her with our charge run. I bet that's it. Oh, because she was already at, like, critical health. Oh, shit. How far back is this? I don't even know. Here, let's do a hard save. Aeola, what? How do you do this? How are you turning invisible like this? <laughs> Here we go. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how far back we are. Right? It can't be that far because we we had an auto save at that um yeah at the shack, right? Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. How weird! How 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 is this happening? How is she turning invisible? <laughs> it's clearly not her casting it. It's almost like she turns invisible in the same way that like what happens if you get your camera too close and the camera tries to you know clear the area and everything. Right? But that's definitely not what's happening to us. Right? It's not a, a situation where, like, she's too close to the camera and the game is trying to give us assistance or whatever. How weird! And it's definitely not a spell, is it? Does Aeola just, like, by default come equipped with, like, a shitload of invisibility potions? Is this just always something she can do? 
How weird. Okay. What changed as well? Because I don't, I don't think she had been doing it before. Then again, maybe she had. Were there instances in the past where, like, I lost Aeola, and I just assumed it was, like, the same thing that happens to every companion? Like, they're having difficulty catching up to me because of pathing through the environment? And I just assumed that that was it. But in reality, she'd been with me invisible. What the fuck? Aeola, what is your weird magical ability? It's an honor to Do you have anything, like, weird on you? What do you want me to carry? Peerless health? Peerless health. What the fuck? How do you Let's do this, going, Aeola? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> somehow this is more shocking to me than the fact that she eats people. <laughs> somehow, somehow that's more surprising. <laughs> right? What the fuck? Okay. Man, we don't even get the, the Thalmor around here to level up our pickpocket, huh? They're not still in the bridge, are they? Nah. It was just some sort of, like, antelope over there. Okay. Oh, let's head on into town. How bizarre. Alright, we got our whirlwind sprint at the ready. Oh, nah! Good. Stow that away. Oop, going super slow run. Okay. So it is, yeah, we do want to cross this bridge to get on this side of the river. Okay, very good. Hey. Make yourself useful oh. and chop up some firewood. There's a few coins in it for you. Horgir. Sounds like you're having some trouble with your wife? Her name's Olda. If you've met her, then you probably already know what I'm talking about. I have. I swear that woman is the most spiteful shrew in all of Skyrim. I think there's a chunk of ice where her heart ought to be. Wow. <laughs> Why did you marry her? <laughs> what? Why don't you guys break up or something? <laughs> what? What? Okay, weird. How old is that stone bridge near the town? Hard to say. It's ancient. That much we know for sure. It was here long before the town itself. I just hope the bridge survives the war. It's the only place you can cross the Karth River for a long way in either direction. Could be if one side wants to keep the other from coming across, they might try to knock it down. Is your lumber selling better since the war started? Damn right it has. Demand's never been so high. At least not since I built the new mill. Oh. Okay. I wonder what the demand is for. Shields, Until I guess? Next time. Torches? Like, surely arrows. You wouldn't need this much lumber just for arrows. Right? Like, huh? I don't know. Maybe. For an entire army? But you would assume that, like, the lumber would come from elsewhere. I guess we're the camps and stuff that they're setting up, right? And moving around. Okay. Anyone over here? Is this Olda? No. Keep walking, Lodvar. stranger. Got nothing to spare for travelers nor refugees here. Jeez. Is he saying that because I'm Dunmer? Does he not call, like, call you into being, call into question you being a refugee if you aren't Dunmary? Let's see. Where is this Olda? I would love to talk with her. Hmm. Maybe at the inn? Oh, is this you? Olda? Yeah. Hey. Where is that lazy man? Does your family own the lumber mill? My husband owns it. Barely. He'll lose it soon enough. He's behind on his loan payments. But he drinks all his money away just the same. Now we're deep in debt, penniless, and about to lose our sole source of income. Wow, they just hate each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't they just split up? Wild. Hey, what's up with you? Seen some mean-spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was rid of those sorts when I left Markarth. Markarth? Okay. You mentioned mean folk passing through town? I think there's some mean folk right behind you. I think you're neighbors to a couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Both the Imperials and Stormcloaks have sent riders this way, scouting the bridge in the lands nearby. They stayed at the inn but didn't pay. They said soldiers wow. don't need to pay because they're risking their lives to protect us. Hmm. And that's not all. They took a heap of our lumber and one tried to have his way with my daughter. Jesus they think Christ! They can do whatever they want. Oh my god! Okay. 
Did you say you came here from Markarth? I grew up an orphan on the streets of Markarth. I'd have died there too, but for the kindness of an old warrior named Logrolf the Bent. The Bent? Logrolf rescued me and gave me enough money to get out of the city. I followed the Karth River north and came here. When I met Michelle, I knew this is where I belonged. I suppose that's it, really. Oh. Huh. Who's Logrolf? God, that name sounds familiar. That's not... Logrolf isn't that nice old man we, like, murdered. For Molag Bal or whatever, right? Or whoever. <laughs> He's not one of the two nice old men that we murdered around Markarth, is he? <laughs> Do you worry about uh, raising a family in these dangerous times? Of course. Every night I pray that we don't get a visit from a dragon or that two armies don't show up to fight over the bridge. You ask if I'm worried. I'm terrified, if you want the truth of it. But I have to stay strong for my wife and children. Man, that's fucked. Jesus, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jesus, what a grim-ass story! Holy shit! Oh, hey, is this one of your kids? Are you a soldier? What's your surname? One yeah. day, I'm Lil going to be a Pa says I'm too young to fight in the war, but I can still help by patrolling the town. <laughs> your name is just Clinton? <laughs> your father's name is like all fantasy as shit, Azada. And your name is just Clinton? Okay. Let's see. Let's check in with the rest of the family. Oh. Whoa, jeez. We really come up in here, huh? Oh. If you're looking for a room, you want the four shields. Oh yeah, I guess your name is just Michelle as well. You look like you've seen your share of adventure. It's no easy thing to make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. Sure. Okay. That said, you're not exactly in the wilds, are you? Huh. Jeez, how can we get the follow-up on, like, his daughter? Does such a thing even exist? Like, can we track down whoever did it? Don't see many travelers out there. Alright. I don't know. I wish I was a soldier. They get to travel and stay up late and have fun. Oh, God. Fucking nightmare shit as well. Right? After, like, how their family has been treated and then their son is, like, idolizing them. Oh, fuck. Alright. Over here. And obviously, like... I don't know, do you tell your son? Like, what the fuck happened? Probably not, I guess? I don't- I don't fucking know. I would assume not, right? I guess it depends on their age. Come on in. Right? We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Respect Varnius the law, genius. and you'll have no trouble in Dragonbridge. Oh, wait, you're the daughter, then. I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. Fida's teaching me the innkeeper's trade. She runs the Four Shields. Please stop looking at me like that. Oh, God, that hits fucking different. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's see. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Something different about you. I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. No, I'm just the dragonborn is all. All right. We could get a Good rim, day. but we don't really need one. Okay. Weird. Is there a whole bunch of shit we could do here in Dragonbridge? Farnius? At least if you're gonna cause trouble, go somewhere else, okay? Please. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, it seems like the people of Dragonbridge do... Like, are in kind of dire straits. Like, it reads like, yeah, this is a town in some shitty situations that would be perfect for a role-playing game protagonist to come along and help them with. Or at least exert their player agency upon the village. Right? But so far... I don't know. Maybe it's involved in other quest lines, right? Could be. Alright. Holy shit. Well, geez, I guess <laughs> we kind of accidentally spent forever inside this village getting to hear and learn all the terrible shit going down. Uh, when next we come back, we'll continue on out this way along the, the riverbank and head on over to get some mead? Oh, we're getting the mead for Olda! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we are helping them. <laughs> Whew. All right, great. Okay, cool. I wonder what that what that was even for. Shit, I don't even remember why Olda wanted the mead. Hopefully to fucking poison someone. <laughs> All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>